One common feature of severe thunderstorms and thunderstorms is lightning. While many people love to watch thunderstorms to see those flashes of light and the lightning shooting across the sky, they are dangerous, even deadly. Meteorologist Wes Peary explains why we see more lightning in the warmer months and what you need to do and to know if lightning strikes near you. Kansas Cityings are used to thunder and lightning I and mean, we get it all year round, but it mostly strikes in the warm months. That makes sense because in order to get a thunderstorm, you have to have a cloud developing and a cloud is warm rising air, which condenses into a liquid. And of course, the cloud up there is really cold. It's below freezing, so you get ice crystals and pellets that form in the cloud. They're bouncing around. They collide with one another and then charges form. They eventually separate themselves in two different parts of the cloud. The base of the cloud has negative charges. The top of the cloud has positive charges and the ground is also mainly positively charged. Once those two charges get strong enough, they discharge and we know that as lightning. They can discharge within the cloud called intracloud lightning or they can discharge from the cloud to the ground called cloud to ground lightning. 80% of lightning strikes are intracloud, 20% are cloud to ground, but there's also a small portion of, of lightning strikes called positive strikes. And that's what happens when you have a rogue negative charge on the ground and then a positive charge way at the top of the cloud called an anvil. Since the distance between the anvil and the ground is so great, that charge is extra strong because it has to make up the distance. So once that strikes, it's usually the deadliest form because of its strength. Now you may be tempted to go seek shelter underneath the tree to stay dry from the rain, but that's actually a really dangerous idea. The negative charge from the base of the clouds will start to draw the positive charges up the tree right before lightning strikes. If you're caught outside in a thunderstorm, you got to get inside, preferably a structure, but a car works too. You can actually determine how far away a storm is by counting the time between when you see the lightning and hear the thunder. When you see the lightning, count one, two, three, four, five. And for every five seconds between those two, the storm is one mile away. Another way to tell is to listen to the sound of thunder. If it's a long, drawn out rumble, the storm is probably far away. But if it's a sharp cracking sound, the storm is probably really close to you. This may or may not come as a surprise to you, but according to the National Weather Service, men are four times more likely to be struck by lightning than women because of the activities they participate in. If you do encounter someone that's been struck by lightning, it is okay to touch them immediately. Call 911 and begin CPR.